we'll guide you through how to download and install NeoForge mods in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So perhaps you've gone and seen a specific NeoForge mod you want to go and install, or you're just interested in getting them in general and you want to go and browse through them and go and find them. We'll guide you through where this will be done. To get started, you need to go and quit Minecraft. Next, go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is go and find some CurseForge mods. As I said, if you've got a specific one you want, then what you can do is go and search for that. But in this case, I want to go and browse. So what we can do is come to CurseForge like so, and come to curseforge.com. There are other sites out there as well, like ModRinth, but this is just my preferred one. Then what you can do is come to Minecraft and press Browse All. Scroll down and you want to go and select NeoForge in Mod Loader, like so. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then go and check them out. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. Right now, you can go and get yourself a discount as well, so it's a great time to go and do this. If we go and scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great benefits, like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup upon purchase, and so much more. So if you're interested, I'll link them down below. You can go and see even more features here as well. A big thanks to them. And you're then gonna go and see the different mods here. As I said, you can go and search for a specific one if you want. So in this case, I might go and get just enough items. You can scroll down and read about it. And then at the top, you can press files. What we need to do is make sure we go and get it for NeoForge. Now it's important to note when you get multiple mods, you need to go and get them for the same version. So in this case, I'll go and start by getting it for 1.21.1. As you can see, this is for here at the bottom. So I can press the three dots to the right and press download file. You can go and get it for different versions. We go and wait, and then it should automatically go and start downloading. It's been blocked for some reason, but if I go and click on it in the top right, we can press download unverified file. That's fine, I've had it before. Then we can press back and I could go and get some more mods just to go and show you how it can be done. So for example, let's go and say I wanted to go and get Waystones. I could go and click on it. Then you can read about it once again. This does require Balm as well. That's why it's worth reading the description, which is an add-on. I'll show you that in a moment. We can press files. We need to make sure we get it for the same version. So I went and got it for 1.21.1. So therefore I need to make sure we find it here and for NeoForge. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. Once again, go and wait, and it will automatically start downloading, as you can see. Once again, this was blocked, so I'll click on it and press download, and then I'll go and press back. Now, with this one, we needed balm, so I'll press description, and then press requires balm, here we are. We can press files, and then we need to make sure we get it for the same version, which is 1.21.1. So I'll press the three dots to the right and press download file. So you get the idea. Just make sure you go and get the mod for the same version. Now we've gone and got this, let's go and get NeoForge. This was blocked though, so I'll pretty go and download it. You go and search for NeoForge, like so. The site is neoforge.net, so you can always go straight there. Now we need to go and get the right version. So you need to go and get the version of NeoForge that we went and got the mods for, which was 1.21.1 for me. So I can come to the right and I can scroll down and select it. Then I can press click here to download installer. We've now got it. Then what we can do is come out of Chrome and what we need to do is go and open up our file explorer and come to downloads like this. You want to go over to the left, downloads just like this, or you can go over to the left and select it as well. Now you need to go and find NeoForge. Go and double click on it and it should go and open up like this. Alternatively, you can go and right click on it. If this doesn't open up or something else happens, it's likely because you don't have Java. So open up a web browser of your choice and then you want to go and head to java.com. Press download Java for desktops and download it again and install it like any other app. Then you can come and return to NeoForge, right click on it, hover over open with, press choose another app, select Java and press always, and then it should go and successfully run. Select install client and press proceed. Now it's going to install. If you find it still doesn't work after getting Java, you can do something called a jar fix and that relinks jar and Java files. We've now successfully installed it. What you then need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top, there you can press installations. What we need to do is go and scroll down and go and find NeoForge. As you can see, here it is, hover over it. Then you can press open installations folder to the right. It's like a fol folder or file icon. And in here you need to go and scroll down and go and find the mods folder. Come in here. Make sure you haven't got any other mods here for different versions or uh, for different mod loaders as that can go and cause problems. Then what we need to do is come back to our downloads like so and go and drag and drop what we went and downloaded in. So in my case, I went and got JEI, just enough items, Waystones and Balm, we can add them in. Then you want to go and hover over NeoForge and press play to the right. 
understand you're playing a modified version of Minecraft and press play. Here we are, you can press mods and go and see the ones you've got installed. We can then press done. And what we can do is go and get into a world and we can go and check them out. Here we are, so I'll go and open up my inventory. First of all, you can see JEI, that's just enough items. You can click on the items and go and see the recipe, which is useful. If we go and press the arrows at the top here, we can get to the next page and go and see Waystones, which are also installed. Of course, you may want to go and install other mods as well, but that's it. If you want to go and get other mods, then what you can do is go back to a site like Curse Forge, and you can go and find more mods for Neo Forge. Just ensure they're for the same version, and then what you can do is go and put them in the mods folder, and you can go and start playing them. It's that simple. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you want to go and see more, feel free to go and check out the channel. We cover loads of different topics on Minecraft and other things as well. Remember, if you need a Minecraft server, you can go and check out Apex Hosting as well, my go-to place for a server. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to help you again with more Minecraft guides. Perhaps you want shaders, texture packs or something else. I'm sure we'll be able to go and help you out with it. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye for now.